Hey, and welcome back to another Revit video. In this video, we're looking at something a little different. It's Revit related, of course, but it's the work sharing monitor for Revit. This is exponentially helpful to use and to reference all the time if you're in a central model and you're working with multiple people at the same time. It's just imperative that you have this open and that you're using it. So maybe you don't know what it is. And for the longest time during my career, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know it was installed. And hopefully if you don't have it installed, you can get it installed and you can use it. Let's get right into it. it again, it's very simple. It's for collaborative projects. So it's for projects that are a central file that have multiple people and multiple users working in the same project at the same time. What we can see when we open this is we have central file access and I've got the list of all these different files I have open in this case it's actually the same file opened as a different user so I have myself here at the bottom and then just another test user and you can see the current user so basically you could see who's working in the central model at that time which is that's really helpful maybe you need to go find out something about the project you can see oh this person is actually in the model right now and I can go ask them something like that then we look at there's an action column and then you can see working in local that's perfect if you ever see working in central you're going to want to have that person to close because they don't you don't want multiple people working in local files while someone's working in the central it just that means they open something wrong or something isn't right on their end because they're working within the central model itself and not just a local copy of the central model so anyway, you should always see working in local if you're in that collaborative state. Progress, there's nothing to see here yet, and then step or time remaining, there's nothing to see there. Also, it's really nice if you look up at the top, you could see your last sync with Central was nine minutes ago. That's great, it's really helpful, because maybe you're, you, know, you get up and you walk away or whatever, you come back to your computer and it says two hours, like, oh, you should sync. It's really helpful at that point. Something else to be aware of is the order that these are listed is the order of la latest sync. So in this case, the test user was the last person to sync. And whereas myself here at the bottom, I was, I have synced after the test user long uh, before. So the test user in this case has synced within the last 10 minutes. That's something to be aware of. You'll also receive editing requests. So if I own an object in Revit and someone attempts to move it or do something like that, and if I own it, they can send me an editing request, and I'm sure you've seen it before, to where it'll, it, you get this little pop-up down here and say, hey, you know, you know, I would like ownership of this so I can, whatever, that's fine. Typically what you do is sync, and if you sync, it will, you'll relinquish your ownership of that object and they're able to edit it. You can do that. But what's nice is that you can you can see and track these editing requests as they come in here because they'll populate here as well. Same with the notifications. I don't necessarily use this work sharing monitor for that. I use it mainly just to monitor who's in the, the project at the time and what they're doing. Now let's look at the options. I generally keep all of these by default and don't really touch them, but I will go over them all so you know what they are. The work sharing monitor, I keep the work sharing monitor window on top of other applications only for <laughs> when I'm doing videos. So typically this is default to off. I don't really care if it's open or not. I, I know when I want to reference it. I don't want it always on top. But for the sake of this video and to keep it on top of Revit, I'm going to keep this checked. This desktop alert, you're going to receive alerts on specific things and we'll get to that in a second, but I don't want to, to keep it open until I close it. It's one extra thing I have to do and I don't want to do that. I'll just leave it at seven seconds. That's the default. Central file access. These are all the alerts you can check. I have only chosen to check when my sync with central is complete because that's really all I care about. Nine times out of 10, that's really all that matters. I'm not gonna reload a whole lot. I will specific in specific times and Again, you can check any of these that you want. The default is just the top one, so that's fine. I've never had any other problems. I don't necessarily need to see the others. Again, editing request. It is nice to see whenever you get these different alerts, so you'll want to see have, have these alerts on when the request is granted or denied by someone else or whenever you get your own. And then notifications, obviously, when I get a notification, 
display an alert. And when the situation described in the notification is resolved, you can choose to check that or not. I might, moving forward, try it and see if I like it, but I've never had it checked before. It's not a big deal. Usually I just, I do what I need to do, whether it's syncing for someone else or someone else syncing for me. I track that in the work sharing monitor itself, and then I move on. So I'll hit OK. And there's also a system performance tab up here. And that is going to be all the information on your specific system, which it's, if you look at the task manager, it's the same information. I, there's no real reason that you need to look at this necessarily. It's just something that's baked into the work sharing monitor for whatever reason. Of course, there's a help if you need that. Another thing to look at and be aware of is this button over here. It's actually incredibly helpful. So this is history. If I drag this in, it's going to show me up to, I can select the number of days, but five days in this case of history to see all the different syncs and all the different users and exactly when it started and when it finished. So you can track how long it takes and when and the status and how many reloads and all of this is exponentially helpful whenever you're working with multiple people in the same project. Now, this project doesn't look all that crazy because it's just me, and this is an, is an example. There's nothing all that special about it, but when this work sharing monitor really comes in handy is when you have five or even more people working on a huge project that has a deadline coming up. Everyone's trying to do everything at the same time. So something to be aware of is you're gonna be able to see whether certain people's sync status was sync was complete and whether it failed maybe it, you could see that oh you can start tracking and see yes that took four minutes to sync that seems ridiculous and maybe you could start to diagnose as to why those things are happening maybe one day everyone syncs time doubles for some reason there, there's probably a reason for that so it's a, it's a good thing to be aware of a lot of times i'll come and reference this whenever people come to me and say, hey, why is the model slow? Or why is my sync slow or this or that? And a lot of times it's multiple people syncing at the same time, that's one thing, or your model's just so big and there's so many people in it that there's not a whole lot you can do. It's just, there's so many moving parts happening at the same time. So something else to be aware of that I can't necessarily show you right here, but you can see that test user and my username are their, their basic black text and that if it's basic black text and you open the work share monitor and you see all the users, the, the users with normal looking black text are the ones that have the work sharing monitor open. And if you see users that have their, their username over here and the current user is grayed out a bit, like half tone or whatever it might be, just gray text, that means that they do not have the work sharing monitor open. So you could even track if someone is looking at this and has this open and is using this as a reference. I definitely recommend that everyone have it open so it's a good way to know who has it open and who doesn't. If you're getting multiple complaints from the same person and they don't have the work share monitor open, that's the clear answer. Have them open the work sharing monitor, always reference things and see what's happening in the model. I can't stress that enough how important it is when you get into big projects with multiple people and there's a deadline. Some other things that I use this for, the main thing is actually to sync. So we, we, we see progress and the step and time remaining, but we haven't seen anything happen. And well, that's because we see this update when we sync. So I'm going to sync as my username. I will sync now. And as I'm doing that, you can see that there's a progress bar and it says saving to central and then now saving to local and that was actually as the test user because the test user was the latest person to sync i'm going to go now to the my username if i go to my username here i'll sync here again and now you can see this username goes straight to the top, which means I'm the most recent to sync, and you can see that I'm querying the changes. These are just the steps that it goes through whenever it syncs. I'm gonna update my local from the central, and then I'm going to save all of my information back to the central and all of that information. 
and then I will be the top. And right now you can see the action says syncing with central and, and the test user below it. So something to be aware of and see there's that notification, central file access, da da da. Your changes, basically you successfully synced. You're gonna get that for seven seconds every time you sync. It's good to know, it's a nice little quick pop-up. But it, this tool is great to always have open because you could see if multiple people are trying to sync at the same time. I can't tell you how many times I've seen this progress bar of someone syncing with two or three other people in line, basically. It's like a sync line. And what happens whenever one person is one person is syncing is someone else can't sync at the same time. It's just it's just the way things are. Only one person can access the central at a time. So you're going to have one person sync and it's essentially a sync line. So when I get a lot of people coming to me and saying these sync times are so long, if you just first look and see is anyone else syncing right now? That's the perfect way to deal with it. If no one else is syncing, then yeah, go ahead and sync. It's not a big deal. You, you're going to be the first in line. You're going to sync. But if you start syncing and then you look at the work sharing monitor and realize there's two p other people already syncing in front of you, you're going to have to wait for them, which means you're essentially waiting for three syncs and you're going to see the progress. It's going to see waiting and waiting and waiting. It's going to keep saying waiting. Just be and it's going to say multiple tries because maybe you have to end up trying to sync multiple times. And you could actually see that in the history, how many times it took to, to successfully sync. In this case, because the test user sank here and then they sank there before anyone else, there were no other reloads. There was no other information that they needed to get from the central. Whereas after the test user synced, and then I as my username synced once again, the number of reloads was now one. And that was because one person had synced since me. If that's three or four different people syncing between you, one, it's gonna take longer, but two, if they're syncing while you're trying to sync and they're getting in before you, it's just gonna take that many times longer. So highly, highly recommend continuing and always having this open to see and monitor who's in your projects, what's happening, who's doing what, if they have work sharing monitor open. It's a very nice tool. You can cycle between the different central models you have open. In this case, it's the same central model, but with just different users. But these will update in real time. Uh, I wouldn't put a whole lot of faith in the work sharing monitor being 100% accurate all the time, but still always have it open. It's very helpful and it's really never let me down. I can't tell you how many times it's saved me whenever I've seen 100 people trying to sync at the same time, I'm just not going to sync then. Or I can look back in the history and see where people starting, where different users started to sync and have and fail, fail to sync. At that point, I've seen many corrupt models to where I could see the last person who was able to sync successfully and we were able to remake the central from that person. It's just, it's infinitely helpful and it's things you need to know if you want to properly manage your work as well as the model itself. I hope you learned something with the work sharing monitor and I really hope you use it. If you like this video, please demolish that like button. It really helps. Also subscribe. I'm about to break 200. That's quite the milestone for me. Thank you all who have subscribed and enjoyed these videos. I sure hope you all have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.